What is going on, all you folks out there in YouTube land? This is Tony Sanchez here. I uh, just want to do a quick review, a quick unboxing of the H uh, HQ Issue Trail Cutter Machete. Now, before I, I bought this, uh, what I usually do is I, I head on over to YouTube and I'll uh, check uh, video reviews, you know? And I did, I did not see not one on here uh, for this particular machete. So I said, well, okay, well, that's a pretty good opportunity. Maybe, uh, maybe I can knock one out. So what we're going to be unboxing, like I said, is HQ issue trail cutter machete. Uh, I got this off of sportsmansguide.com and this is in no way sponsored by sportsman's guide, but that is where I got it at. Uh, they had a sweet deal on it for $17.99. <clears throat> if you ever, uh, check out Sensible Prepper. He is one of my, uh, one of the people that I watch. If you go to sportsmansguide.com and you type in Sensible Prepper in the search box, uh, you'll pull up a whole list of products that basically he endorses and you get a, you get a better deal on it. So uh, that's what I did. I went and checked out his list when they collabed and I found this beauty right here along with a few other things that I picked up. But let's go ahead and unbox this baby real quick and see what we got. So it wasn't taped or anything, just came came just like this in the Amazon box. I mean, uh, Sportsman's Guide box. I did find it on Amazon as well. I found it on Amazon for $25.99. So I got it for about $9 cheaper. Uh, but let's see what we got here. Hmm. Right off the bat, we have a uh, pretty standard nylon sheath. Usually comes with a lot of these uh, value budget friendly knives and machetes and such so uh but it uh it's actually pretty thick so seems like it might be pretty durable you got basic rivets going along the edges to keep it intact so we'll see how those hold up later on and then we've got these buttons it looks like because of uh because it's it's basically what i got from it it's a double-sided machete one's a uh straight edge blade the other is a saw blade and then it's also got a, uh, what is it, like a like a gut hook or a, maybe a pruning hook. So let's just go ahead and get this off. All right. So we'll do this double right here. Oh, there it goes. I'll just set that off to the side. That's pretty cool looking. Hmm. I think it's beast. Now, right off the bat, uh, just to give you a few specs real quick, this uh, this trail cutter machete is 19.5 inches long. You're gonna get a blade of 12.5 inches. So here to here, we got 12.5, and then we have a handle, which is ABS handle with with jimping. Uh, this is gonna get this is gonna be seven inches. So pretty nice. I like it. It's a 440 stainless steel is, a, is the material on, on your on your metal here. Whoops, sorry for moving the camera like that. That's 440 stainless steel and it's a, it's a it's got an oxide finish. All right, now we'll go to the seven inch handle. You've got a nice little, um, I doubt that's 550, but uh, pretty much like a paracord lanyard to wrap around your wrist. So you'd go like that and get you a good secure grip on it so and that does actually feel really nice especially with this thumb this little grip it gives you right here uh i feel like i've got a i've got a good handle on it so not bad i mean for 18 bucks so um do not try this at home obviously i'm gonna test the sharpness of it i'm not doing any crazy tests i'm just gonna run my thumb across it so full disclosure this is this is not something you should do if you don't feel comfortable doing it so uh, but you can see it looks like it's got a pretty pretty decent blade on there and for a for a big you know 12 and a half inch blade machete uh it's pretty sharp it's it's not bad at all i like that so then you got your your gut hook right here or your pruning hook as some may call it uh definitely not as sharp uh, and i really wouldn't expect it to be but de yeah, definitely not as sharp as, as the straight edge. So, and then we flip it over right here, and you got your saw on the other side. I'm not sure of the specs on the on the saw, but I, I, it's it's a 12 and a half inch blade, so I'd say uh, I'd say probably about six and a half inches, seven inches maybe of saw. So, 
but yeah, that's 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 pretty much it for the most part. Um, honestly, for for eighteen bucks, which is what I got it for, even twenty five is pretty much what it trends at. Definitely not a bad thing to keep around. It's 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 not heavy. It weighs about one point nine pounds, I believe, is what was the weight on it. Uh, so definitely not not anything heavy. Uh, it feels good in the hand. Uh, it's you know you got you got a full tang, so that's another another good thing. You got a full tang here, so it goes all the way through. You got your three screws here that hold the 440 stainless steel in place all the way through the handle, the ABS handle. You got a nice sharp straight edge right here to slice through your vegetation, leafy area, stuff like that. Uh, and it's pretty sharp and obviously uh, you can always sharpen that up a little bit more. Uh, but just the way it comes, not not too shabby at all. Maybe you got your saw right here, obviously, if you want <clears throat> to cut some uh, cut some branches up for kindling or, or fire starting, anything like that. Uh, you can go ahead and cut those up with this saw. And um, I'm pretty confident it would do the job. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm guessing if you have a, a pile of logs or whatever, and you just kind of you just kind of grab them, <laughs> grab them off the pile, I guess. Not exactly sure what the uh, pruning hook is for. I guess maybe clearing brush as well. Use it, use it for that also. So, but like I said, I, I've seen this on Sportsman's Guide. I uh, went to YouTube, tried to find some video reviews, didn't see any. So uh, now, now there is one. So now you've got one. This is the HQ trail cutter machete so but uh, I'm new to YouTube so I'm gonna start making reviews for products like this uh, I'm real real big into prepping and and you know hiking and camping and stuff like that so I'll buy stuff like this pretty often so um, if you would please uh, like and subscribe I would, I would really appreciate it obviously I'm, I'm new on here so but if you like to see more reviews like this of Pretty much budget friendly items uh, I'll be reviewing like the quality and is it actually worth it for the value and this one I would absolutely say it is 18 bucks I mean you got a nice like I said straight sharp edge you got a saw on the other side about seven inches you got your your pruning hook here uh, definitely definitely good side piece to take with you when you're when you're hiking and stuff like that like I said it doesn't weigh much it weighs 1.9 pounds so uh, honestly can't beat it and then, you, like I said, you got the nice nylon sheath. It's not, it's not flimsy really. It's, it's got a nice thick enclosure here, so not bad. Uh, you've got your loop right here to put it on your belt. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how these will work out when you actually have it on your belt along your side. I'd imagine it's going to be pretty hard just to throw it back in there. I mean, I guess you'd put the hook in first. Yeah, might not be too difficult. So. Anyways, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.